Welcome to this introduction to how to install SEER connected to FXCM. You run the installation program. You follow the instructions through the wizard. And you tell the installer to run the SEER platform. SEER takes a moment to load up. The setup wizard lets you open up a free demo account uh, with FXCM in the United Kingdom. You also have the ability to select where you want SEER to store its market data along with the example applications, example algorithmic trading systems. You have a choice about how much data to download. For the purposes of this demo, I will download the minimum package which is three months of one minute candles for four of the major uh, currency pairs. I click the download button and depending on your internet speed uh, this will download the selected data package. Once the download is complete you can uh, put in your account number and PIN for your FXCM account and you click connect to FXCM. This just takes a moment to create a connection to FXCM and it tells you that the data download and configuration are complete and it tells you the location of the example systems that SEER has installed for you and it asks you whether you would like SEER to open one of these examples. I'll click the yes button and immediately we get a help screen uh, with some introductory videos which I will now close as well as the SEER platform which I'll now make larger for the purposes of this demonstration. I'll now go through the layout of the SEER application. On the top we have some information about our account, the current price of the selected instrument which happens to be Euro USD in this case, the ability to buy and sell as well as a number of settings for your screen trading options. This is now followed by any pending orders or orders which are still haven't been executed in the market as well as all your open positions. As you can see on my account I have one open position on Euro USD which is a long position of a thousand euros. Right? What I can do is I can close the top section of my screen because I'm going to be showing you how to get going with the back testing and optimization of systems. So I'm going to click this icon on the top of the toolbar. I'm going to hide the top section to reveal uh, what I'm going to be talking about in this uh, presentation, which is <coughs> the ability to back test and uh, optimize systems. <coughs> What we have here is a trading account that's already been opened. It's one of the examples, an MACD trading account. <coughs> and uh, I can see some of the settings. I have, I'm going to start with $10,000 of capital. I can say to allow short selling on this account. And there's a, basically a description of the system, a system based upon MACD and the rules of buy uh, on the crossover and sell on a cross under, which is a pretty standard MACD example. What I can do if I want to get more details about the application or my system <coughs> is I can actually have a look at, um, for example, uh, some of the variables and the settings. Then I have my portfolio, which is very important. Currently, I'm only going to be testing this on Euro USD. Of course, I can add more instruments to this, so let's go ahead and do that. Click on the search button, and we can actually see what we have here as. Uh, options in terms of adding currencies to our backtest. Of course we only have data for five major instruments which is what I selected in during my setup wizard. So I'll go ahead and add one of those uh, GBP USD. So now my backtesting and optimization will happen for Euro USD and GBP USD. Another important uh, variable to look at is the fact that I'm going to be running the system on a one minute heartbeat one minute heartbeat means that the system will actually send through uh, one minute candles during its backtest simulation. 
what I can do now is I have actually uh, three options. I can backtest the system, optimize the system, or deploy the system. So I can do that using these three buttons, backtest, optimize, or deploy. However, I like to use the actual toolbar buttons, which I can get to from any part of the, the SEER application. There's backtest, optimize, and deploy. <coughs> so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to optimize, um, backtest the system, and takes a second to run. Once I click that, I can see the speed at which <coughs> optimization took place. <coughs> I can see some um, overall performance of the system given my current uh, variables and their settings. And you can see that I'm not making too much profit here, a negative $9,000 of profit. And then we actually, Sierra goes into the trade analysis itself, the number of winning trades, losing trades, outlier analysis, and actually shows you a breakdown at the bottom, contribution for every instrument within the system. <coughs> Note the fact that this system backtested on EURUSD as well as GBPUSD. If I just want to run it on EURUSD, I will click on my portfolio. I would delete that instrument and I can click back test again and the system running just on Euro USD. Now that I've back tested, <coughs> I can actually see my uh, positions, my trade history. So SEER gives uh, many details about uh, different aspects of your, your trading system and uh, I'm going to show you the, the trade equity curve and there's a trade equity curve. As you can see, it did uh, nicely in the beginning of the system and subsequently actually uh, became very loss-making for a very long period of time. Right. So if you want to increase and decrease the amount of time that you're backtesting, forward testing on, you can actually look at this date time setting over here. There's a number of different options that have been um, predefined for you or you can click on this button to actually open up uh, a date band window which allows you to create different bands of dates that you want to actually backtest. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and optimize the system. So I'm going to have a look at the variable set on my system. You can see I've got three variables called one, two, three. And I have uh, a number of different options. So for my optimization strategies, I have s uh, variable one set to start at three and end at 24 and step with an increment of one. I have variable two to start at 3, end at 45 with an increment of 1, and I have variable 3 to start at 3, finish at 19 with an increment of 3. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to set my increments to be higher so that we don't take too long to actually run the back testing. So I'm going to set the step to 4. I'm going to set this step to 4 or 5, that's quite a big one. I'm going to set this one to 4 and push OK. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the optimize button. And so that's telling me that I have now 350 iterations through which I need to get through. And SEER is uh, going to be uh, zooming through those pretty quickly and we're going to get some results about how the three different variables that we're trying to optimize um, interact with one another. Okay, we're back again. It's almost finished running and there we have it. Okay, so SEER has completed its optimization run and it actually shows us all the different values and net profits and total trades that the system had made for different combinations. It also shows you a net profit for every run. Right? So for example, run number 50, which is tagged number 50, would be line item number 50 in this list over here. That's it over here, it didn't make much profit. Line 51, that did actually make quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of profit. Okay, but this is pretty difficult to actually uh, information to get through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something slightly fancier. We'll see. I'm going to click on this new window button. And I'm going to actually try, I'm going to make a large, pretty large window over here. And you'll see the reason for that in just a moment. And I'm going to tell it to do a, a 2D plot. So now what I'm actually seeing is a 2D plot of variable 2 versus variable 1. And we can see that the net profit, which is the item I've selected on my first plot, the net profit is the color. So the uh, the more red the color is, the more profitable the color is. So we can see very quickly that the most my most profitable systems lie uh, where variable one is around 14, between 14 and 16, 
and uh, with variable 2 around uh, 10 to 12 as well as in another group where we have variable uh, 1 sitting between 18 and 20 uh, uh, and variable 2 between uh, 14 and 20. What I can do now is net profit is not the only key indicator of a system. Right? So what we can do is we can actually so show in another uh, another graph I'm going to show the maximum drawdown. Okay, this is quite interesting. So now I have my net profit over here and I have my uh, drawdown over here. So now we can see that the drawdown is actually happening in this region uh, which is where variable 1 is around uh, 22, 23 and variable 2 is around 25 and uh, this region over here which is the most profitable area in terms of net profit actually seems to be a very good region for drawdown with very very low drawdowns. Now this is very very promising for us of course. We can actually add another instrument uh, to that or another indication of uh, how good our system is. <coughs> and uh, the one I'm going to use is a sharp ratio. Okay, So this graph over here shows my sharp ratio. Now obviously the higher the sharp ratio the better um, and uh, anything around 1 is pretty good for a sharp ratio although we have very very high sharp ratios in the same region of where my very high drawdowns are. So obviously that's not a region we want to look although the ratio, the sharp ratio does seem pretty acceptable uh, if we look in the region where our most profitable areas of profitability are. For my last graph I'm going to choose <coughs> the gross profit indication. So gross profit is actually quite interesting. You would expect uh, that the net profit and the gross profit, these two graphs should look the same but actually uh, we can see that the gross profit is really high in this bottom region and uh, where our net profit is uh, big, um, it's actually uh, not the same as our gross profit, which is rather an interesting occurrence. Anyway, so now we see that our most profitable regions are definitely kind of in this region. So let's just say a 1 is 15 and a 2 is 10. So let's go ahead and close that and set the variables 1 to 15. and we'll set 2 to a value of 10. Okay, and now let's backtest our system. Uh -huh, good, so now we've backtested our system and suddenly we're seeing actually a net profit. And we'll click on our trade history and we see that the system was profitable with those two settings, just as we would expect from the visualization. Of course, our results tab has got information about that. Let's add GBP USD to that portfolio and that's as easy as it is to test two instruments. Now the question is will the optimization on EURUSD affect our GBP USD results? So now we're running that and interestingly enough the same uh, types of parameters were actually applicable to GBP USD. So now we have a system whose trade equity graph looks like that which is pretty neat and you can see we managed to do that through visualization of the results. That concludes our first presentation of the SEER platform. Hope you enjoy using it.